guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in today. So I'm really excited about this video because you guys have been asking for this for such a long time. So in today's video, I am going to take you step by step through my ultimate contouring regime. I'm going to start with cream contouring. I'll show you all of the nitty bitties and all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years as a makeup artist. And then I'm going to set it all in place with a powder contour. Now, if you're not into wearing too much makeup or you like to go for a more natural look, just take what you need from this video. You don't have to do all of the steps start to finish like I am. Take what you need. It doesn't need to be in exactly the same order. If you only want to contour with a powder, if you only want to contour with a cream, if you only want to contour with your nose, you do you, girl. You do you. <laughs> Contouring is actually something that makeup artists have been using since like the beginning of time well. I don't know if the cavemen would have contoured. So with contouring we use lighter pigments on the areas of the face that we want to lift up or bring forward and it also uses darker pigments in the areas of the face where we want to recede or to pull backwards and this can help to slim the face, it can help make your nose smaller, <laughs> your forehead smaller, your cheeks smaller, your neck, it can do so many incredible things. Now in this video today I'm actually going to be using some super affordable cream and powder contouring products. These are the models prefer contouring palette. So this one here is the cream version and then this is the powder version. These are ridiculously affordable. They are available at Priceline here in Australia. What I really love about this product also is that they are not too warm in tone. If you try to contour your face with a real orangey bronzer, it's not really going to work. You're going to look like you potentially got into a fight with a bottle of fake tan and didn't win. <laughs> but these are all beautiful, really ashy tones and these replicate the natural shadows of the face. I will also have a blog post just down below in the description bar and in that I will list all of my top other recommendations for contouring so um, just a few other options of other palettes and stuff that I think are really really top-notch and easy to use I mean it's great for something to be super pigmented but if you can't blend it out and you end up looking crazy <laughs> it's not gonna make the list so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and let's jump straight into this video and learn how to contour our faces so we are going to start out with this cream contour palette first. Really, really high quality, as I said, and super affordable. I'm starting off with this really bright yellow shade. Yellow is great for contouring because when we use it in areas of darkness in our face, it's great at color correcting and really contrasting those darker shades and bringing a lot of light to the face. So I'm using a small stiff brush to gently apply this product in an upside down triangle sort of shape underneath my eye area. And you can see I've also carried a little bit of that product onto the side of my nose. Using a lighter color right up to the sides of the nose will help your nose appear smaller later on. I'm now going to continue to carry this product onto the high points of my face. So that is the center of the forehead down the bridge of the nose. Now when you are popping it on the bridge of the nose, do keep that line nice and skinny, otherwise it will, you will totally counteract it and make your nose look bigger. The skin above the cupid's bow, the chin area, and also the bottom parts of my cheek, just underneath where we will put the darker contour later. I find that this really helps to contrast the darker color later and it will make your face look a lot more sculpted. I'm now going to go in with the contouring shades. Now I want you to imagine an invisible line that starts from the top part of your ear and extends all the way down to the corner of your lip, just sort of here where I'm placing my brush. Another great way to find your cheek contour is to pull this really funny fishy face, suck your cheeks in and follow the natural hollows on the side of your face. And then you can also feel those hard bones. You can feel your cheekbones and there'll be a little squishy hollow area underneath your cheekbone. That is where you want your contour to go. Now you can see here that I am only using a teeny tiny little bit of product. Don't go too crazy. I know that's what they do on Instagram, but I promise you it's not cute later on. Now to help slim the face further, you can contour the sides of your forehead, but be careful not to get it in the area of your temple. You can see I'm drawing an imaginary line here from the tip of my eyebrow extending on a 45 degree angle up to my hairline. Keep this area free of contour. We want that beautiful highlight to extend all the way up the side of the cheekbone and into the hairline. We're going to move on to contouring the nose now. So starting on the inner tip of the eyebrow, I'm drawing a very faint line down the side of my nose with a small eyeshadow brush. When you're contouring the nose, you want to keep these darker lines closer together rather than further apart. The further apart they are, the wider that your nose will appear. 
drawing faint, faint lines all the way down to the tip of the nose. And then I'm gonna take that brush and I'm actually going to draw a horizontal line just around sort of where the bulbousy part of the end of the nose starts because this is going to give you that really cute little button nose that we see. Okay, finally to finish contouring, I'm gonna place a little bit of that darker color underneath the lower lip and that will create the illusion of a fuller lip. So now that you're looking like you've just stepped out of a plastic surgeon's office, we're going to move on to the blending process. Now my all time favorite way to blend a cream contour is with a damp beauty Now starting sponge. with the highlight, I always do recommend to blend the highlight first. I'm going to use little dabby, tappy motions to really blend that product into the skin. If you are having great difficulty blending the product, you can give your face a couple of spritz with a facial mist and that will sort of help to soften up the product. But being a cream and being that your skin is quite warm, it will become more and more emollient as time goes and will get easier to buff out. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I always do start with a base of foundation on, but if you've got particularly dry skin, you can try mixing these cream contours with a facial oil like jojoba oil or argan oil or something, and that will make them a lot easier to blend out and it will also help to prevent them from cracking later on in the day. I've never had any issues with this model's preferred palette though, so I can't imagine that you will either. When blending out the cheek contour, make sure that you are blending in an upwards direction as opposed to a downwards direction. If you blend this contour down onto the bottom part of your cheek, you're actually going to pull the face in a downward direction and wind up looking a lot more tired as opposed to awake. And with the contour on the forehead, once again, blend it up and outwards into the hairline. This will create the most natural looking finish. So here is my face on one side with the products all blended out. It looks really natural, but my face looks a lot more sculpted and it just looks like I've got high cheekbones. Now, when it comes to blending the nose contour, I always recommend to use fingers and a sponge. Just take your time, gently buff that product into the side of the nose and really blend it out. It's very, very important with the nose that there are no stripes because we've all seen those red carpet disasters where their contours are not blended on their nose. And then finally, a really great way to make sure that everything is buffed in seamlessly, just pick up the same brush that you used to apply your foundation earlier and using stippling motions, just really melt all of the products in together to ensure that there are no lines of demarcation or stripy bits on your face. Okay, we're going to move on to setting this contour into place. Alternatively, you can use a translucent powder that works fantastically. Or if you don't want to cream contour first, you can implement these steps just over foundation foundation. Taking that bright yellow shade, I'm setting the areas underneath my eyes using only a very, very small amount of product. Just always remember less is more when it comes to contouring. Also setting my forehead and my chin and I'm gonna pick up that same powder on the tip of my finger and set the highlight down the center of my nose. Using a fingertip will avoid you widening that highlighted area and therefore avoid you widening your nose. <laughs> And then taking one of the darker shades and just softly setting the cream contour on my cheeks. You can see that I'm using circular motions with the brush. This creates the most blended out and natural finish. Once again, we want everyone to think that we woke up like this. We don't want them to see crazy stripes and then try and use this as a pedestrian crossing. <laughs> To powder the nose, I'm taking my contouring brush with no additional product, squeezing the bristles so that they form a straight line, and then running the product up and down the sides of my nose and also underneath the tip of my nose. And then finally, I'm taking a little bit of that darker powder underneath the edge of my chin area and down onto my neck. This will help contour the neck and reduce any of those double chins. We've all got them, ladies, let's not deny. I always recommend adding some color into the face with a blush, so I'm just doing that now. And once that is done, that completes the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do have any other questions about contouring, please pop them in the comment section down below. I am always happy to answer any questions that you have. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will catch you in my next video.